Let's talk about recovery speed in the MindLab Manticore metal detector. In order to get maximum power value efficiency out of this guy, you need to understand how it works. Let's locate the recovery speed in the settings of the Manticore first. Let's see, there it is, recovery speed. And it goes from zero being the lowest to eight being the highest default settings is six straight out from the factory let's talk about this recovery speed is real simple it just tells you how efficient the detector is at picking up targets that are close to each other high recovery speed you get you get the beep for every single target under your coil if you have several beep 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 and low recovery speed it will think that you only have one, one big target this article here on Treasure Talk on the Mine Lab website explains it really well, and also this image here on the site. Why wouldn't you use high recovery speed all the time then? Well, quite simply, you lose depth. You can only find surface finds with higher recovery speed, while with lower recovery speeds, you can find targets that are deep down, but the signals are harder to interpret because items next to each other might give one big signal instead of two. And one of the awesome things about this MyLab Manticore detector is that they have reworked it a little bit now. It used to be that when you had low recovery speed and let's say you had a signal, then the signal was really slow. Like it was deep, yes, and it went vroom, vroom, when you were swinging the coil. But now they have tweaked it a little bit so that it gives a faster response. It gives woo, woo, woo instead of woo. Which means that it's way more fast to dig deep targets with this than with the other detectors that are out there on the market. So recovery speed, important to know. If you have lots of items in the ground, use a high recovery speed, six, seven, maybe even eight. And if you're hunting in an empty area where there's few targets, uh, let's say a forest for example, then you might lower the recovery speed so you instead get the depth. Because there's little chance of items being close to each other since it's an empty forest. Hmm, easy peasy. Good job here Emil explaining the recovery speed. If you like these kinds of explanation or want to know anything more about the My Lab Manticore, Check out my other videos as well. There's something for everyone in there. Thanks for watching. Take care. Over and out. Bye.